All right, y'all, we are back, and it's almost another holiday season, and I'm talking about Valentine's Day. And when it comes to this particular day, we already know Nike treats it like it's their own, dropping sneaker after sneaker after sneaker. So what we're going to do is talk about the upcoming sneakers that's going to be released for this Valentine's Day season. Let's see if they're going to have some stale joints, and let's see if they're going to have some fire joints. Let's go. All right, y'all, first sneaker we're talking about is the Air Max 90 LV8 or Love 8. Now, the release date for this is going to be February 2nd. They're going to be going for 160 and these, yes, will be for our women. I actually like the double air bubbles that's on the back. It gives you a little bit of something new. Also, I like the thick midsole that they have on there. So anytime you see something with like a thick midsole, they're trying to give that platform type of look. I don't really think that it's something that's like really that thick to make you inch up in height, I really think they just added a mid so they making the presentation thicker on the outside so it looks like it's a platform shoe. I also like the back with the heart that's on there, giving it a little bit of love, giving it a little bit of play. Nothing too crazy, nothing too extreme. It's something simple. So if you're really trying to style up with this, you can, but if you just wanna wear something just for the holiday season and it'll be a decent shoe for you to get the job done. Next sneaker is quickly one of my favorites of the bunch. It's the Air Max 90s You Deserve Flowers. I like the graphic, I like the silhouette. I love the bigger air bubble that's on the back. I love the rose and the tag that's on the front of the tongue. So for this to be something that's supposed to be just an all white sneaker, it's not just a simple sneaker, it's more of a complex sneaker. I also enjoy the inside of the sole that we have you'll see a little pink on the inside you'll also see some font writing on the inside as well it's just a fun around shoe now my only take back on here is that they have this cotton material with the graphic that you see on here so of course you can't really wear it with denim because if so it might just bleed on there so if you're trying to wear these sniggers i recommend that you put some spray on here wear some chinos wear some black pants or something or just avoid denim in general now there's no official date when this is going to drop on february but this is going for 160 and it's going to be a sneaker for everybody next up is the nike dunk low you deserve flowers now i'm not too much into the dunks lately but i mean it is what it is it gives the same setup as the air max 90s you had the same setup with a different type of silhouette that's the only thing that's different there hasn't been a price that's established for this sneaker and there haven't been a drop date for this either but they've just been out there and the open as this is gonna officially drop for the holiday season hopefully these release on the same day as the air max 90 so if you couldn't get the air max 90 you'll probably be able to go for the dunks and if you can't get the dunks you'll go for the air max 90s hopefully you'll be able to get this design sneaker i think they're both dope but in this case i think the air max 90s is just just a better silhouette. Next up is another easy favorite of mine. It's the Nike Mid Blazer 77's Layers of Love. These boys are fire. They're going to be releasing on February 13th and they're going to be going for 120. These will be in adult sizes, so yes, this will be available for women and men. Now, I'm not an all red sneaker type of person, but this is just a hit all around. From the gum sole at the bottom to the different layers of leather that's on here, you have different shades of red on here as well. You have that basketball leather that's on the back of the heel. You'll also have it on a swoosh. You got a big swoosh that's on there. And then you have lighter shades of red, which the lighter shades of red are a smoother type of leather. I think this is completely fire. For this to be a sneaker like this, this comes in different shades so it could continuously give you something to look at different every time again this is going to be releasing for 120 i think that this is one of the biggest hits that they have this looks like a well put together luxury sneaker if i wanted to wear this in any type of setting if i really wanted to show out this will be a sneaker that i will pull out because it actually looks like a luxury designer sneaker fire creation low price and it's out there for the holiday season fire you can't go wrong Another shoe coming behind that is the Nike Dunk Low Valentine Day. Now this isn't too much to me. I mean, I enjoy the different colors of pink and red and everything going together. And then you have colors of sail. It is what it is, but like I said, I haven't been too much into dunks lately and it is what it is. Now there hasn't been a price that's been set out and it hasn't been said if it's gonna be a family sneaker or something that's more so for the women or men. And we haven't got a release date on this either. So we're just gonna move on to the next. And hopefully they'll have some more information for this really soon. Another sneaker that's releasing is the Nike Cortez Valentine's Day 2024. I don't think I'm too interested in these. It's nothing too spectacular, even though it's a simple shoe. The most that I actually like about this is the heel because it got the heart on the back. I mean, that's something simple, of course. It's Valentine's Day thing that's going to get your attention. But I don't really think there's any other attention getters on here. It's just a simple Nike Cortez. I mean, the sole on the inside is cool, but I don't really feel anything is really giving any like attention to the valentine's day thing other than just putting the heart on the back there's no price that has been set out for this and there's no date that has been set out for this but hopefully they just give some more attention to this and let everybody know when these are going to be dropping i know a lot of people in california get hyped for cortez and a lot of people up north get hyped up for cortez as well so i don't know let's just see and the last two sneakers to talk about are for the kitties and these are already out right now both of them you have the nike dunk low valentine's day aka soulmates and then you have the nike air force one valentine's day soulmate 
So these are both out right now. This is something playful for your kids to enjoy. Put the red on, put the gray on, put the purple on, put all the colors of love and let them just enjoy that day with the sneakers. The only problem is they are $100. So it's like your kid going to be wearing some $100 sneakers and you know they're going to tear it up as soon as they step into it. But it is what it is. I hope they have fun. These sneakers are actually a hit. So hopefully you can pick between one of the two and you'll be able to get one of them right now. Don't even wait after this video. Go ahead and go get those sneakers for your shorties. All right, y'all. Now, out of all these, my favorite has to be the Nike Air Max 90s. You deserve flowers. And then you have the Nike Blazer Mid-77s with the layers of love. I think both of these are a hit. If there is one I had to choose between the two, it'll be the Nike Mid Blazer 77s with the layers of love. These boys are fire. I haven't had an all red shoe like that in a while, so to have a sneaker like this would be perfect. But I mean, both are a hit. I think both are creative sneakers. These will be something that sticks out. Both of them are going to sell out really fast. And all of the other sneakers, I think they might sell out fast too, but not as fast as these will. But with that being said, I'm going to get up out of here. Drop those comments down below. Let me know how y'all really feel. Do you think that these are even fire? Are they even worth buying for the holiday season? With that being said, I'm going to get up out of here. Y'all already know the vibes. I'm your homeboy, Cam Quarterbanks. I'm out. I'm gone. I holler at y'all. Peace.